Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with a devotion entitled Beautiful Transformation. Beautiful Transformation. I want to read from 2 Peter 3, verse 10. It says, But the day of the Lord will come like a thief. The heavens will disappear with a roar. The elements will be destroyed by fire. And the earth and everything in it will be laid bare or burned up. You know, we can see that when an old rundown house is purchased, torn down and redesigned, and then went through months of renovation, what used to be an old rundown house is now transformed into a beautiful showcase of style. Renovation and fixer upper are good, word, good words to use to apply to houses that when it comes to God's plan, the planet Earth, we have to be very careful with our words. The Earth isn't going to be fixed up. It's going to be wholly renovated. Would restoration work as well? Possibly when we think of God restoring our planet to its original pristine and sinless perfection, in short, the earth is going to get a total makeover. Are you anticipating your new home? It's going to be more beautiful than we can possibly consider. 1 Corinthians 2.9 says, That is what the scripture meant when they said, No eye has seen, nor ear has heard. No mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love Him. You know what? Jesus is coming back again. And this few weeks, this few devotion, I'll talk about that. You and I have to be ready and prepared because when He comes, not only your body and my body will be transformed to a, to a special body that's going back to heaven, but the place where you and I are going to live is going to be a new place, a new heaven and a new earth, something new restored for you and I to be in. Charles Kingsley says, Never lose an opportunity of seeing anything beautiful. Beautiful is God's handwriting. What he's saying is word, what he's going to do is going to be new for you and I when Jesus is coming for you and I. Amen? Be ready when he comes and enjoy the newness and restoration of the new heaven and the new earth that he has prepared for you and for me to be in. Amen. God bless you. You have a great day. Father, blessings to your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Blessings.